Astral Jerry here, and this is the Dweller Syndrome. The Dweller Syndrome. I face some odd things while out of body, but never the Dweller is what this thing is referred to. Reported by Astral Projectors all over the world for a long time now. They have faced the dweller. It's common when you first start traveling out of body, you might face the dweller. Um, I've been traveling out of body for years and have just now come across the dweller. Supposedly it's all bark and no bite and from my experience, uh, this is what happened. So I had an out-of-body experience that was quite amazing last night. So here's what happened. Started phase out, got the vibrations, okay. Started to rise out above my body and I took off, okay. I'm still kind of in my laying position like my body and I take off uh, flying in this laying position and soon I start to slow down and everything's just black around me. I can't see a thing. Uh, my vision, wherever I'm at, I don't know. <clears throat> but I couldn't see a thing. Anyways, I start to slow down, right? And I basically come to a stop and everything forms around me. And it's really clear, right? And I'm in a freaking gym like a gym class, right? And there's people around everywhere and I've never seen a single one of them before in my entire life. Um, they look like kids to young teenagers, right? All around me in this gym. And um, I'm thinking, what in the hell? Now they're not moving a whole lot. So I think, is this some sort of uh, sleepers class or some kind of school on the other side, you know, and I'm thinking this while out of body, right? So, instead of just trying to fly up and out uh, through the top, I, I, I'm looking for an exit and I see a door. And I see several people standing in the door, kind of observing the others in the gym, right? And I, I'm thinking, I got a little more clarity and I don't know uh, than the rest of these people here, and I don't know what in the fuck is going on or where I'm at, right? So I was like, I gotta get through that door. <laughs> so I look and I reach down, and there's a red ball, and I grab the ball, and as I reach down, I see a hand come out, and it looks almost like my hand, but noticeably different. And I start to uh, notice the subtle differences between uh, grabbing something uh, physically and non physically. Um, it's definitely noticeable. Um, having a body is a wonderful thing and what we can experience with it is definitely a wonderful thing, okay? Because there are noticeable differences being just energy. You can uh, create a pretty dense body uh, to experience with over there, but it's just not the same as this physical body, okay? <coughs> so, I pick up the red ball, right? And I head towards the door. And when I get to the door, there's a woman standing there with dark hair, kind of short, stubby type woman, right? And I take the ball and I go, whoo, and I throw the ball and smack her right in the head, and it bounces off, and I take off through the door, right? And I'm just kind of gliding down the hall, and I'm pretty, uh, pretty freaking aware. Uh, you know, I've got uh, a good bit of clarity here, you know? Uh, there was still a portion of awareness missing, uh, because if I could rationalize things, I probably would have just tried to talk to one or flew straight up instead of trying to go through the door and using the ball and all that. But I was still pretty aware, okay, pretty lucid. And I'm gliding down the hall and I'm gliding pretty fast. And all of a sudden there's something there and I stop. And it's this fucking beast, right? Uh, and it looks vicious as hell. This is my uh, 1.30 a.m. Uh, rendition of uh, the dweller that I, I drew here okay but anyways 
the thing looks vicious as hell and it's just growling right it's growling and it's just standing there it's not moving it's just growling like crazy and it's got red glowing eyes its eyes are glowing red right and the motherfucker looks vicious as hell looks like it would just like eat you alive right and, I, and I'm stopped and I'm directly in front of this thing and I start to rationalize is this the, the fucking dweller? Is this the dweller? Because I've never seen the dweller before, right? So I was like, I don't think this thing would try to mess with me, but I know it can't hurt me regardless because I'm energy, right? It's just a fear tactic. But what causes the dweller hell, I don't know. It's reported by so many people. So I put my hand out and I say, sword now. There's no sword in my hand, okay? So I put my hand out again and I use my thoughts to try to manifest a sword so I can just knock the fuck out of this thing, right? No sword again. So I was like, damn, you know? Uh, not working here. So what I decided to do is just fly straight up. And I just took off straight up. And I feel a little resistance and I'm out the roof of this building. And I come outside and it's beautiful. Like... It's like if you got up really early in the morning before the sun's out, it's just barely kind of light in the sky. I can see the clouds uh, kind of like dew-like on the ground, you know, like that early morning, uh, whatever. But I'm flying straight up, and I fly through the roof, and I see the tin roof in a white uh, building. It's like a white uh, house with many extensions stretching way back into the country, it looked like. And I'm flying straight up, and I feel something just hitting me. And I realize I'm flying through the tree branches, right? And I come out uh, above the trees, and I'm just kind of floating there. And I was looking at the tin roof and everything, and I was like, oh, wow, well, you know? So I decided to take off, and I take off to the left, and I start flying. And I see uh, vast fields and everything. Um, and I think, wow, I'm really starting to gain a little bit of clarity here. Where am I going to go from here? Uh, I must be uh, getting a pretty good distance away from my body. And when I thought about my body, I started to phase out. And I knew I was about to hit my body. And I grabbed my keywords to describe my experience. I grabbed three keywords and wrote them down and described uh, my experience. But this dweller is... Uh, some kind of fear tactic. It's, it's definitely put in place uh, by something. Uh, something, you know, and, and uh, it's reported by projectors that uh, just start traveling out of body. Why I seen it then, uh, after all these years, I don't know. But if you see the dweller, um, my advice is face your fears. Um, just fly away, you know, and you probably won't see the thing again. Um, you know, you could probably uh, try to fight it or whatever, but it would just be pointless, you know, because I don't think this thing is actually a, uh, a real creature. I don't know. I don't know that, you know, because it's reported. And, and as I experienced, it's all bark and no bite. So maybe it's uh, an illusion, you know. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know this. But that was my first dweller uh, experience, and I wanted to share it with you guys in case you ever run across it. Face your fears. Um... You know, face your fears. Don't let it uh, get the best of you. Don't let it uh, keep you from traveling out of body. Okay? Face your fears and you're going to realize that you're going to be okay. Nothing can hurt you. You're just energy.